Hello civil engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel on civil brains. In this lecture, we will see how a load bearing structure is to be constructed. So whenever we say, whenever we say construction, we need to start with the center line layout, right? We have seen all those things in the frame structure. So we'll see in this video how this entire uh, building line out has to be worked out. So basically, we need to understand there are two kinds of structure. One is a RCC frame structure. The second is called as a load bearing structure. So in the RCC frame structure, what is going to happen? You'll be having this uh, column, you'll be having a slab, you'll be having a beams and those footings and all, right? So it's a framing element here, right? But whereas in the load bearing structure, you'll be not having this uh, RCC columns nor uh, all these uh, beams. So again, again, the foundation also won't be there like you have it in the frame structure. So entirely we'll make use of these uh, stones like you can see the laterite stone here, right? So this is a laterite stone which you get usually in the coastal belts. So with the help of this, we are going to do the construction of the entire house. So now the first thing is always the center line layout. So we'll see how the center line layout is to be done here. So usually if you remember, uh, usually if you remember whenever we go for a frame structure and all, how we try to do, let us say if this is my plot, then what I'm supposed to do, I'll be doing a center line layout. In that case, I will be marking a footing like this, right? Let us say this is my F1 footing. Let us say this is my F2 footing. Let us say this is my F3 footing. Let us say this is my F4 footing, right? But here, all these things is not going to come like F1 footing, F2, F3 and F4. So what you're supposed to do is here, in this case, you'll be putting a line like this, okay? The full line, line out, will tell you. So this is one line out, okay? And in this part, you know, let me show it to you. So this part, this is a part, in this part only you are going to start with your laterite work. That is a, this a block, whatever uh, stone you have, no? this work you are going to start. And when we do the marking also, similar type of marking only we are going to do. Now this is done, no? let us say I want to make one small partition in this part, okay. And then I will separate this into different uh, category, like different rooms, let us say. Uh, one room is going to come in this part. Let us say this is, this portion will be my hall, okay. This portion will be my hall. This is one bedroom. Uh, let me try to draw a small toilet in this portion. Okay, this is my toilet portion and then let me convert this into another partition Okay, so you can see uh, so the center line marking will be something like this one is outer completely Then inside you can see like this. This is one marking. This is second marking third marking. So this will be your marking So that tomorrow when you start with the excavation of this now You are going to excavate all these things the soil from around this area the soil in this area the soil from this area the soil from this area and also from the, this area and wherever you have done the excavation there you are going to start with all this uh, laterite stone you are going to keep it here and um, step by step you are going to uh, uh, bring it up to whatever height you require and this is how the entire construction will be done so i given you overall um, outline of this now we'll try to see through video how this center line is being uh, marked there okay so already half only few thing is done so when i went for recording anyway i'll be explaining you here so again the same thing the center line layout they have to keep the stone and all and then with the help of that line dory you have to uh, mark it and then with the help of this powder you know chalk powder what you get you have to mix that with sand so that it will be easy for you to do the marking and this is how the marking will be done like uh, whatever i mentioned the same thing you can see it practically on the side now now you can see here, you know, two lines they have drawn it here, isn't it? You can see this is also two line here. So this is where you are going to start with your this work. Laterite stone you are going to keep here, and from there only you are going to do the construction. So there is no footing and all like the traditional method. Method what we used to do, do the excavation, put the PCC, keep the cover block, then keep the footing mesh, then put the column reinforcement, then do the column, then do the footing uh, shuttering, then the concreting, then the column starter then the column shuttering all these things nothing you're going to see here just mark all these things do the excavation and you require one mason or let us say two mason and two helper and they're going to do the entire construction of this okay so this type of construction is very fast you don't have to wait for you have to you don't have to do the curing of course when you put the stone work the lateral stone you have to do the curing to that since we make use of cement mortar other than that there is no dish shuttering and all no waiting for seven days of curing nothing you can see two lines they have drawn here two lines on this side two lines on this side and the other side also they are going to draw the two lines so this is your outer wall all this are your outer wall
yeah so i'll try to run a bit so all the outer walls are done no? now again in inner here also they are going to construct the wall maybe some partition they want to do maybe they want to convert this part into one bedroom maybe a toilet in this part so in this way whatever is your plan i'll be showing you the drawing in the next lecture how this uh, drawing looks So this is how the marking is done. I'll go forward again. So again you can see no again two lines are come so in between this only your lateral stone is going to come so here this is one partition maybe they want to convert this into a bathroom and maybe here they are going to make use of this particular area for some bedroom let us say or maybe a kitchen okay so that is how it is how the marking is done so you can see the small portion is required no, for bathroom so for kitchen you require a big portion so this is how it is done So we'll go forward again. Finally, most of the things are done. So this line has drawn. So now we'll get an idea. So this may be a kitchen, this may be a bath, and this may be a hall, this may be a another one bedroom here. This may be a hall where you're going you're going to do the entrance from here. This is your hall. So they have certain measurements with them. We'll see that what what all measurements they are taking and from where they are taking those measurement. So this is called as right angle. Okay. So whenever you want a 90 degree line, uh, when you want a line to be parallel or a perpendicular, you will make use of that equipment, which we call as which we call it as right angle. So that you are going to get a straight line. So finally, most of the things have been done. All the center line. So there is nothing like footing marking at all. Okay. Very simple marking you are going to do it here. Yeah, so completely done. All the things are done here. So you can see it here. No? Finally, the small excavation has been done here because uh, they had done a puja of this that is a, we call this as bhumi puja okay so that is why this excavation is done here anyway they are going to do excavate in this area also and finally you are going to start your lateral stone work from here so this lateral stone is the old one already there, a, there was a structure here so they demolished it and on the same place a new structure is being constructed So I'll show you one more video now. So this is completely done.
so you can see it here finally this is how it looks once all the marking and people have people are not there now just you look at the marking how it is done like I mentioned in the beginning the same thing you can see it here two two lines you are going to see so this is where they are done the puja so this is how it is done see outer marking here then from here again outer marking this is inner part maybe inner partition walls okay there's no partition walls like here all the same size only you are going to use it here right so finally this is how it looks now all the marking have been done and that's it this is how it looks okay so in the next lecture I'll be showing you the drawing of this how it looks and also we'll see the day wise uh, construction progress how it's going to happen so this is day one where the center line layout has been done and do subscribe to this channel so that you are going to get all these videos and you can learn out of this so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you